today's video, we're going to see what happens to plants in a vacuum. Nate, you're going to make us kill plants again, aren't you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's the experiment, isn't it? We're going to find out. So today you have got six different ideas for environments that we can put plants in to see what's going to survive best. Exactly. I wanted to see what happens to a plant in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to do that is to take just a, a mason jar. And they've got these rubber seal lids that hold themselves down. Um, so we're going to put a plant inside a jar vacuum it, and then we're just going to leave it sealed and see what happens to it over the course of about a week. We'll try and make sure that they're all healthily watered before we start, um, but we've got multiple jars and multiple plants, so I think we have several different things that we want to try. Here's the basic idea. We've got several little basal plants, and we're going to put them in several different environments, including high carbon dioxide, high oxygen, and a complete vacuum. Plants need carbon dioxide technically to live. That's what they're breathing. And then they produce oxygen, which we need, which is great. But what happens if we put a plant in a full oxygen environment? So we've got... Kind of mean, but... Yeah, we've got our oxygen tank with pure oxygen. We want to put that in one of the jars. Mm -hmm. We can make carbon dioxide by reacting baking soda and vinegar. And we want to try two different versions of that. One is a sealed jar with carbon dioxide. Just fill it with carbon dioxide as much as possible, then seal it. Another one is we'll fill it with carbon dioxide, but we'll actually leave it open. We'll keep topping it off. Yeah, and every day we'll just come in, react some baking soda and vinegar, and let the carbon dioxide gas flow in. As a control, we want to have one of the plants in a jar, but with just the lid off. We'll just let it have the normal air. We won't give it extra carbon dioxide, anything like that. And then as like another control, we'll have one plant that's just not in a Chilling. jar. He'll just be nearby. There. I think that gives us a fun little variety. Yeah, I think first thing we gotta do is actually get these plants into the jars. It's true. Okay. We've planted. We, we managed to get our basil into jars. It was sometimes not a smooth process. This one should be our air one just because he's so loosely packed. I'm actually going to do a test. I'm just going to vacuum it and then pop the seal to check how much of a vacuum it really had. But then I'll just vacuum it again. It will actually top off the water a little bit more before the final seal as well. Top is depressed, that's a good sign. And the plant didn't move when you did that. I was watching to see if anything. So. Looks like it sealed nice. Can't, the, the button doesn't press, which means we've at least got lower pressure. I don't know how much. I'm gonna say that it seals very well. All right, we need some water in all of these. Yes, we do. It's had water, we've tested that the vacuum Holds on the jar. We actually may get some like fog and vapor inside the jar because with the low pressure, the water is gonna be more prone to dissipating, to evaporating. That's okay. So it may not be a perfect vacuum seal, but it should be very low pressure in there. We'll just seal that down tight, make a label. Carbon dioxide environment. Now, unfortunately, you can't see carbon dioxide, of course, but it is heavier than air, so it should be displacing whatever air was already in the jar. Next one is just oxygen, and we're going to seal it. There we go. I'm just yeah. kind of like trying to get, you know, all of the air that's down in the soil a little bit and really... Basically, we're getting rid of what it uses to breathe. Yeah, we may be suffocating this plant at this point. I have very low hopes for this one surviving. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that's a grow light. There you go. So we've got the plants all set up. We have a grow light pointed at them. We have our CO2 open. We have our two controls on the other side open as well. We'll come back and we'll water the ones that are open every now and then and we'll check and top off the CO2 every day. So check on it in a few days, give you an update. 
All right, guys, our plants have now been sitting in their respective environments for a little over a week. Sorry, Cal's not able to be here right now, but we are gonna take a look at these plants and see what has happened to each of them. So let's go through, they're in no particular order. Over here, we have our control, and it doesn't look amazing right now. It probably didn't get enough water. We weren't sure exactly how much water to give things because obviously the plants in sealed jars, we can't add more water to them. That breaks the seal, that undoes the experiment, and even the open jars seem to be retaining water pretty well, so we didn't add much, if any, water to, to the open one, but I think it may have dried out a little too much. So generally the plant is looking good, it's looking healthy, although a little wilted from lack of water. Moving on, so this one is just a basil plant in an open jar, and we didn't do anything else to it. And when we look at the timeless, we took a time-lapse shot of all of these, and looking at that, it does seem like it's doing well at first, but then something happens and it wilts, and looking down into it, something has started attacking this. This has got some mold or something similar growing on it. Now, I don't think that's a result of just being in a jar. I think some kinds of spores landed on this, or maybe we didn't clean the jar well enough before we started. I thought we cleaned them all, but maybe not enough. I think that this plant, this is not really a great control anymore because I do think something actually attacked this plant and killed it, in which case the other jars are uh, a little more protected. All right, so now we've got the sealed oxygen container, we've got the sealed carbon dioxide container, and we've got the container that was vacuumed out, along with our open that we poured carbon dioxide onto about once a day. Without opening things, I am a little bit surprised. I'm not surprised at the vacuum. The plant does not seem very happy. Plants are not supposed to be in a vacuum. They don't like it. That doesn't surprise me. But what does surprise me is the CO2 and the oxygen. This is the opposite of what I thought would happen. Our carbon dioxide plant, so this was full of carbon dioxide and then sealed lid on it, it does not look good. It is looking wilty, it is looking unhappy, it is looking brown. And our oxygen plant, remember, plants use carbon dioxide and put out oxygen. Our oxygen plant is looking great, like very happy and healthy, lots of moisture in there, um, and the plant seems to be doing great. Um, to me it seemed, like being sealed in a container with oxygen would be like sealing a human in a container with carbon dioxide. It's what we breathe out. But maybe there are factors I'm not taking into account. Maybe even in our high oxygen environment, there was enough carbon dioxide in the soil to leach out for the plant to use. There was just, it was an imperfect filling and maybe the amount of CO2 it had was just right. But it seems like we can kind of overdo it. Um, and maybe you can. If you put humans in a perfectly oxygenated environment for too long, I'm pretty sure it's bad for them. I think there's oxygen toxicity. And then here we've got our open jar that we just poured carbon dioxide onto, and it's looking fantastic. That's very alive and healthy looking. One other thing I wanna do, I wanna do a smell test. Basil, it's got a nice smell. All right, that's sort of a, a baseline. I'm a little nervous to smell this one, because. Yeah, it smells a little sour and rotten. I don't want to take a deep whiff because mold. Our open with CO2. Ooh, a very strong basil smell. Quite pleasant if you like the smell of basil. So this has been in a sealed oxygen environment the whole time. Take that lid off. As I said, a lot of moisture. There's like, the leaves all look slightly damp. We do have one leaf that looks like maybe it's kind of slimy and probably not doing too great. And my guess is that's just because it stayed so wet. Sealed carbon dioxide environment, which does not seem to make it happy. It looks like it's been pickled or something. Oh, and it smells completely rotten. Oh, it's like it smells like just mulch. Like, you know, if you opened your grass clippings after being closed for a week. That's bad. I think the vacuum held. Yep. Oh. <laughs> it's like that one, but way worse. Straight up smells like compost. Where's the good smelling one? <sighs> Much better. Well, if you want to put your plants in a somewhat contained container and add CO2 to them every day, that does seem to help. This is looking great. This was our open container that we just poured carbon dioxide onto every day, and you know what? Seems to be thriving. I'm very surprised that the plant sealed with oxygen did as well as it did. Uh, it's too damp, I think. I don't think basil likes to be 
surrounded by that much moisture all the time on the leaves and everything. Most plants, other than moss, don't. Although we did seem to get some moss or something similar growing in here, so maybe they do like the oxygen as well. But there's good color. The plant is still alive. It's still growing. It smells like basil. That's a good result. The plant that was in CO2, sealed in CO2, which I thought the plant might like. I thought it might just enjoy like, oh, all this carbon dioxide, it's great. Oh, it's wilted beyond belief. And all of these were in a closed temperature controlled room with an artificial grow light on them. Um, none of the jars ever felt like they're getting warm. None of the air was warm. So I don't believe that any of them were cooked or anything. I think it just, they didn't like the environment, they died. And then of course, the vacuum one, which has basically disintegrated. Uh, there's like no plant left even. I don't know what hat, like going in, there was a lot more leaves than this and they've just turned into mush, gross, ruined everything. This is pretty cool. These videos obviously take a little bit longer because we have to set them up and then just keep them in a controlled environment for a long period of time. But they are kind of fun to do and see the result of something that not everyone has the time and space to do. So if you have other ideas similar to this, things you'd like to see us set up and just let run for an extended period of time, let us know. We'd like to hear about them. Maybe we'd like to try some of them out. Uh, if there's anything else you think would benefit from a high CO2 oxygen vacuum environment. Maybe you'd like to see what happens in an argon or acetylene environment, something like that. If you've got fun ideas, things like that, let us know down in the comments and maybe we'll give it a try. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got more cool stuff for you to see. Click the button right there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a great video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.